Asma, this is the first thing that came to your mind when you saw that inhaler. Am I right? Well, we often relate asthma to inhalers. Asthma is a way beyond it. Today, we will see the Ayurvedic aspect of asthma. Asthma can be considered as Shwasaroga according to Ayurvedic classics. Shwasaroga is mainly of five types. They are Mahashwasa, Urdhashwasa, Chinnashwasa, Shudrashwasa and Tamagashwasa. Among them, the first three types are considered to be incurable. Shudrashwasa requires no specific treatment. It subsides by its own by following proper lifestyle and dietic changes. Tamagashwasa is considered as bronchial asthma. Bronchial asthma is a chronic inflammatory condition where there will be obstruction of airways and even bronchial hyperactivity. The triggering factors will be due to the extreme variation in the temperature, air pollution or even by the factors like dust, pollen and even food. According to Ayurveda, the prodromal features of Shwasaroga is Anaha that is abdominal distension, Parshvashula, pain in the costal region and Hridaya Peda that is pericardial pain. In classics, the clinical features like running nose, stiffness of the neck, wheezing, falling blood pressure may be due to the compromised blood supply to the organs, itching in the throat region, longing for hot diet and regimen, sweating due to exhaustion and there will be rapid breathing and after expectoration the patient will feel better. Oral breathing will lead to dryness of the mouth and rapid breathing will be seen to compensate the oxygen level. Repeated episodes of cough and dyspnea can also be observed. Coming to the treatment aspect, Tamagashwasa is maintainable if the treatment is taken from the early stages. In chronic conditions, periodic purificatory measures just like Vamana that is therapeutic emesis and Virejana therapeutic purgation can be done. Shamana medicines and Rasayana that is rejuvenation therapy also plays an important role. Purificatory treatment is considered to be best in case of Tamagashwasa. Snehana and Swedana should be done prior to the purificatory measures. Snehana vitiates the doshas that is lodged in the body and Swedana by means of heat penetrates inside the body and liquefies these doshas and bring it to the gut. So it is easy to evacuate these doshas by means of Vamana and Virejana. The person will be given with excess of unctuous food which provokes a kapha dosha, hence why it is easy to evacuate these doshas. When the patient get vomiting reflex, then Vamana is induced by rock salt, long pepper and even with honey, by which the morbid kapha dosha will be eliminated and the channel will be cleared, which aids in normal breathing. After Vamana, one can go for Dhumapana. It dries up the adhered kapha and this topic has been dealt in our previous video. Do check it out. Shwasaroga has its origin from Pittasthana, that is small intestine. Virejana is considered to be the best treatment for the diseases that is originating from Pittasthana. After Vamana, a dietic plan will be scheduled in order to bring back the digestive fire. When Agni becomes normal, Snehana and Swedana will be given followed by Virejana. Or Virejana will be administered on small doses in regular basis. Proper diet and lifestyle has to be followed after these purificatory measures. In order to know more about it, consult your Ayurvedic physician. If you found this video informative, do like and subscribe for more such interesting videos. Thank you.